Which did he say you wanted me to use? Next.js or Nest.js? What's the difference? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to break down these two very popular web frameworks, Next.js and Nest.js, and let you know what the difference is. If you've heard these names, and sometimes you think you've misheard these names, did he say Nest or did he say Next? Don't worry, we've got you covered. So the easy way to understand the difference between Next.js and Nest.js is using a little illustration, and that's of a toy store. Okay, imagine you're building a really nice toy store. Well, it needs two things. It needs a beautiful storefront so people can see the toys that they're going to buy. And it also needs a well-organized warehouse at the back so that those toys can be supplied easily and regularly. And that's exactly how Next.js and Nest.js work together. Next.js is like the shop window. It would present the toys to the customer and it would show all the display shelves with all the toys on it. It makes sure that the website is really quick at showing these toys to everybody and it makes sure that the website looks amazing. It handles how you, the customer, interacts with the website, the user. And if somebody clicks on a toy, then Next.js makes sure that the user or customer can see all the details about that toy. Nest. JS, on the other hand, that's like the warehouse. Nest.js is like the big storage room in the back of the shop. It keeps all the toys or data safe and organized. So when a customer buys a toy, Nest.js finds it in the warehouse and sends it back to the shop window. It handles all the behind the scenes work like processing the order and managing the stock. Sounds simple, right? Well, let's look at each one in detail. So when should you use Next.js? You should use it if you want a fast search engine optimized or SEO website. You should use it if you're building a React.js site, maybe with some server-side rendering of the components. You'd use Next.js if you wanted some simple backend functionality, but you wouldn't use it if, for example, you were doing heavy database work. So what are some use cases for Next.js and only using Next.js? Well, if you've got a blog, a portfolio site, a small e-commerce store maybe, where most of the work happens on the front end, in that case, Next.js is ideal for the task. So when should you use Nest.js? Well, Nest.js is useful if you have a powerful backend that requires lots of logic. Perhaps your app does a lot of database queries. Perhaps you have to build a standalone REST API or maybe a GraphQL API. You'd also use Nest.js if you were providing real-time updates, heavy load or microservices. So if you're making a large e-commerce app or a social media app or anything with lots of users and data, Nest.js is the better choice for your back end. So it begs the question, when would you use Next.js and Nest.js together? I just want to very quickly tell you about Senti.app. It's an app that Chris and I have developed. If you've got an iPhone or an iPad and you need to send text to your Windows PC, it's really difficult, but easy on the Mac. So we invented Senti. Simply select, share, and it appears on your Windows clipboard. Please support the channel and check out Senti.app. Now back to the video. When would you use Next.js and Nest.js together? Well, you would use Next.js for the front end, for a beautiful, fast, optimized, and interactive user experience. You'd use Nest.js for all the complex processing in the back end, for all the business logic, for all the database work, all the heavy lifting, really, and especially if you need to provide an API to other providers. Take, for example, Amazon. So you've been asked to the developer, please build Amazon. Next.js would handle the display of all the goods, all the details, uh, maybe updating the shopping cart. Nest.js would handle all the payments, the orders, the inventory, the user accounts. Using both together means your app is guaranteed to be fast, scalable, and secure. So in summary, which one should you choose? If you're making a simple website or a small app, go with Next.js. If you want a strong backend, maybe database access and API, go Nest.js. And if you need both those requirements, use them both together. So that's it for today. 
I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it clears up a little bit of a difference between Next.js and Nest.js. Thanks for all your support. I'll see you next time.